Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Shakira. Ricky with Sports News. And I'm Cameron with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is September 10th, 2019. Greetings, Grizzlies. Save the date and start saving your money for a rock and roll homecoming September 21st. Tickets this week are now $25 and will continue to increase on a weekly basis until the night of the dance. Purchase tickets with card or cash at the banker and head to room 503 to pick up and register your ticket. Hey juniors and seniors, are you college bound? If so, Miss Blair and Miss Duvall have planned a trip to the 20th annual Historically Black Colleges and Universities Recruitment Fair on September 21st, 2019 at Doolittle Community Center from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. If you are wanting to learn more about what HBCUs have to offer, speak with recruiters about a specific major and or professional degree, receive fee waivers on admission applications, or receive a scholarship on site. Please sign up with either Ms. Blair in room 830 or Ms. Duvall in room 828 to get all the information. Seniors, a UNLV admissions representative will be giving a representation on Wednesday, September 11th at 7.30 a.m. in room 200. Nevada State College Admissions Representative will be giving a presentation on Wednesday, September 11th at 9 a.m. in room 402. Please sign up on the College Career Military Google Form or go to room 908 Senior Counselors or 402 College and Career Center. Are you interested in joining clubs? Well, here's Carlos with more information. In the midst of our first quarter, clubs are starting to open their doors. But did you know that clubs can be started on their own? Let's ask around about clubs and the interest about starting one. As the president of Gaming Club, what are the duties of club president? So, we try to make sure that um, the club runs smoothly and that everyone has a good time. Would you say that running a club is hard? Most definitely, but if you love what you're doing, then like, it won't feel that difficult. Would you say that anybody can run a club? Yes, like as long as you put in the time and effort, then yes, anyone can. Thank you so much. No problem. So, if you have ever wanted to start a club, here's how to do so. First, you'll need to fill out an application. See Ms. Pittman in room 908 for that. She's the activities administrator. Second, ask around for possible members. Think opinions. Keep in contact with them as well. Third and finally, find a staff advisor. All clubs require one to operate. Here's to hoping creativity strikes for your very own club. This was Carlos, now back to the studio. Thank you, Carlos. Ninth and 11th grade students wishing to take the PSAT in October must go to room 815 to obtain and fill out the bright goal form. Once students have the form filled out, they must pay the banker $17 in order for a test to be ordered for them. All 10th grade students will be taking the test and will have their $17 fee paid by CCSD. By taking the test, 11th grade students enter themselves into a highly competitive scholarship competition called the NMSQT. The registration payment window will be open today, September 9, 10th through Thursday, September 19th. There will be no late registrations, so get this completed ASAP. Now here's Ricky with our sports news. Thank you, Shakira. Coach P will be having an informational meeting for women's flag football this Friday, September 13th in room 200 at 1 p.m. Flag football is an upcoming winter sport 
looking for players for the season. The flag football program will have a freshman, JV, and varsity team. If you are interested in learning more about your chance to play, please come for the meeting. See you Friday, September 13th at 1 p.m. in room 200. The men's soccer teams were in action Monday night at Clark High School. It was a clear from the start of the game that the Grizzlies were going to hunt down a win. Carlos scored. Carlos Castro scored a hat trick, that's three goals, in the first half, and Blaine Kessman added a free kick to the goal to sink the Chargers and give the Grizzlies a victory in the first league game of the season. Come out to Spring Valley Soccer Pitch on Wednesday as the soccer teams take on Silverado Varsity at 3 o'clock and JV at 4.30. Women's, so women's soccer f defeated Clark by a leading score of 9-1 to one with goals scored by Kenna M with two goals, Danny C with one goal, Haley P with two goals, and Kendra with three assists. Awesome job, ladies. The Grizzly girls tennis team took on Desert Oasis High School and yesterday pulled the fangs right out of that bad Diamondback snake mouth, providing key wins where Jennifer Du, Leah Martinez, Elise Rivera, Amy Tong, Mia Lopez, Haney Choi, M Michelle Fung, and Angie Sumter. Awesome job, ladies, and keep up the great match play against Bishop Gorman today. Can you say undefeated? That's right. Four tennis matches played and four wins against our schools. Our Grizzly boys tennis team continue to roll. Our tennis team athletes stomped on the Diamondbacks of Desert Oasis yesterday by the score of 11-7, to giving us big set wins to secure the victory where Zach Billett, Pato Gonzalez, Tan Ritchie, Charles Caronia, Josh Ferguson, Caleb Bush, Sean Mark Morton, and Dax Whittaker. Way to continue to make us proud and good luck at the against the uh, Bishop Goring game, Gales today, Grizzlies. This week in sports, tennis plays today September 10th against Gorman at their courts. Their game begins at 3 o'clock. Men's soccer plays tomorrow, September 11th at Spring Valley with Silverado as a visiting team. Varsity plays at 3 o'clock and JV plays at 4.30. Women's soccer plays tomorrow, September 11th, against Silverado as the visiting team varsity plays 3 o'clock and JV plays at 4.30. JV football plays against Bonanza on Thursday, September 12th at 6.30. Football's varsity begins one of the most important games, the fight for the banner, on Friday, September 13th against Bonanza. This game begins at 7 o'clock, so all you varsity football players work to get that banner. Make sure to support all of your Grizzly athletes. Now here's Cameron with more sports and more news on campus. Thank you, Ricky. Improv Club starts on Wednesday in the theater. Be sure to come check out the world of improv and join in on some games. Improv Club will run from 1.30 to 3 every Wednesday. Everyone can join. Hey, National Honor Society, we have our meeting today during lunch and after school. Come. Come when you can to help vote for t-shirt designs and find out about amazing service opportunities. Students wishing to take an AP exam in the spring must go to room A15 ASAP to obtain information and sign up form. Sign up for the form. The regular fee in, is $94 per exam. Students can pay the full amount of $40 down payment per exam must be made to the banker by September 27th. The writing lab is now open on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1.30 to 2 p.m. in room 832. Tutoring services for all elements of writing process will be offered. If you are interested in volunteering as a future tutor in the writing lab, please see Ms. Witt in room 832. Today is going to be a high of 94 and a low of 67. It's finally starting to cool down. This was Cameron, Shakira, and Ricky of the Grizzly Lose Network. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday, Grizzlies. Grizzlies.